what I got. Look what I got. Oh, oh, oh! Squirt! Oh, it's so juicy! Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is absolutely incredible. As for me, I have a pretty busy day today. I'm excited because we have a shipment of snakes coming in that I love and I hope that you guys will love and I can't wait to unbox with you. And then I actually have to pack up and head to Sykes in Missouri for some Reptile Prime business, but we're gonna be at the shop for a little while longer, so we'll check in on the crew and see what is going on. I hope that you guys have an absolutely amazing day. Let's try to make this a great day together. Push all that negative aside and let's just have a good time. What do you say we go get this box of snakes and open it up? Let's get things started. All right, guys. So I have the ship in here and it's been a while since I've done some snake unboxing So this should be pretty fun and I absolutely love the snakes that I'm getting in and basically What the deal is with these guys is that we had a bunch of these at one bottom So we're almost out of them. So I have to kind of restock if that makes sense. So let's go ahead and see what we have in here Oh, oh, doggy. These things are absolutely gorgeous. That's right, guys. It's a whole shipment of piebald ball pythons. Basically, the other ones that I had all got sold out. I mean, yeah, everyone loves piebald so much. So when I had the opportunity to buy a whole bunch more, that's exactly what I did. So I'm going to go ahead and unbox these. So let's go ahead and see what they look like. And finally, the last little pie ball. That is 25 little baby, ooh, little baby ball pythons that are absolutely adorable. I mean, take a look at some of these colors. And I want to just go through and see the kind of cool animals that came in this. Look at this one right here. Oh my gosh, that pattern is absolutely ridiculous, man. I told you guys that I always keep a couple each shipment. I think I'm going to keep this one. I just love that really clean look. Oh, that's so beautiful. But I think these are interesting too because there's a very little amount of white but look at how awesome that pattern is i don't know sometimes those 10 or 15 percent white animals are really cool too but on the complete different end look at how high white that one is i mean holy cow that thing is absolutely ridiculous i love that animal that is certainly a 90 percent white one right there and this one right here is actually a leopard pie you can certainly see that leopard pattern in it and it only has a little bit of white in it but there's no doubt that it is a pied and it is a leopard pie Oh, take a look at this one right here. How crazy is that? This one's got like a triple cool saddle on it. Usually you see one or maybe two saddles, but I've never really seen one that is like that. And that's the amazing thing about pieball ball pythons is the fact that each animal is completely different. If you produce a thousand pies, every single one is going to be a little different, maybe just slightly, but they're always going to be different. That's what makes them so incredible. And I love the ones that are like this. This is a good 50 or 60%. To me, I love the pieballs that are kind of in that 50% range or a little bit higher because I like to see the pattern. That being said, I'm going to be getting some spies that just have all white with just head pattern. I like those too. So who am I kidding? I love them all. Certainly when you talk about high white, that is a high white animal there. And again, I think it's kind of cool because it's high white, but at the same time, there's still one little patch of patterning here that kind of gives it that character. Or how about this one here? It just has a little band of white and some white down on its tail, but that thing is still absolutely awesome. This guy here is definitely a super high white one. It has some pattern up by its head, but no patterning by its tail at all. That thing is absolutely cool. And as a matter of fact, the very first pattern I ever bought was a male and it looked almost just like this. It was almost all white and just had a little bit of pattern by its head. Oh my gosh, I fell in love with that animal right off the bat. And that was actually before they were proven genetic. So I paid $25,000 for a pie ball and we didn't even know if it was genetic. It was exhilarating and I was so pleased when we finally ended up knowing that it was a genetic trait. But there's no doubt that each one of them has its own character. I mean, I love ones like this too. And let me know down in the comments, what do you like? Do you like the really high white pie? Do you like the 50? 50% or are you like Kelsey where she likes only like the 10 or 15% white ones again I love them all but these guys are absolutely incredible and just look at the pattern and color on this one holy cow that's amazing that is truly a piece of living art this one here has some amazing pattern and color on it again it's not a super high white one but boy that pattern sure is awesome and this one is probably a leopard too so the leopards are oftentimes associated with pies although you can have leopards that aren't ever pies because early on 
time with Pete Call with Pie Balls, he actually produced the animals that were leopards and didn't realize it. So a lot of the heads were actually leopard head pied. So uh, this is definitely a leopard pied as well. Here's another one with a cool pattern. I mean, take a look at that. Oh my gosh, the orange in this one is just unbelievable. And that's another thing that happens with pies. Ooh, and you're a little pistol, aren't you? Another thing that happens with pies is that the orange really brightens up in the normal pattern. That thing is crazy. But take a look at this one here. I just love it. I mean, right there, it almost looks like a little ghoul type of face or something like that. And again, maybe it's just me. Do you guys look at stuff like this with patterns and start seeing things? Maybe I'm making too much of it. But to me, that looks like a little Halloween ghoul face or something like that. That is absolutely, or actually, you know what it looks like? It actually looks like the Scream. Remember the movie Scream? That kind of reminds me of that. Doesn't it remind you of that? That is freaking awesome. And the last little baby bite is one that I saw when I was unpacking it. This one even has a cooler little face on it, a little emoji face. Look at the two eyes and then the little nose or mouth, whatever it is. That thing is absolutely cool. How awesome is that? Anyways, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this pie stuff because I absolutely freak out every time I see pies. And to get a whole bucket of them like this, I mean, that is just absolutely amazing. I never want to sell these guys. And every time, ow, you bit me, little sucker. And every time I restock them and they sell out so quickly, I'm always like, oh, but we're going to definitely pick out three or four of these animals. I'm not exactly sure which ones I should keep. So go ahead and let me know down in the comments which ones you like the best. You know, I'll go ahead and listen to you guys and I'll put some of these on the shelf and then maybe you guys can help me name them and stuff like that. Oh my God, this is so exciting. Don't you just love baby pieball ball pythons? I have to get on the road in a few minutes because I've got a long drive ahead of me. But first, I've got some hornworms. Karma loves hornworms and so does Bella. So I'm gonna give them a couple treats before I hit the road. I absolutely love that lizard. He is so cute. He loves these hornworms too. Let's give him another one. I tell you what, that's just awesome. And the funny thing about karma is that I'm the only one that he'll eat off of forceps with. Everyone else, he doesn't want to do it. So it's kind of cool that we've kind of created that bond where he knows when I come, I'm going to feed him. But the only way I feed him is on forceps uh, because if he doesn't eat off forceps, he's not going to get fed. So he's kind of like, all right, I got no choice but to do it. But he is absolutely incredible. All right, one more. Why not? <laughs> All right. I don't know why I laugh every time I do it. All right, I'm gonna feed Bella now. Bella! I know you love these, Bella. Look what I got, look what I got. Look what I got. Oh, 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 squirt! Oh, it's so juicy. Here you go, girl, here's another one. Oh, yes, you love them. Okay, last one, sweetie. <laughs> oh, she's such a sweetheart. I'm gonna just go ahead and leave the door open and let her roam around if she wants. Lori, is that okay with you? Uh, not today. Not today? What do you mean? Look it. Do you see? I've got stuff piled everywhere that she loves to climb and knock over. You're not letting her out before you Miss, leave. It's and Christmas. You know, it's just Christmas season. Don't be a Scrooge. It, Shut up. Ah, <laughs> oh, see, Bella's coming. She's like, I'm coming no matter what. Listen, okay. I don't have time to babysit you today. Bella, look at that cute face. He's like, let me out, please, Mama. Oh, thank you, Mama. You can't say no to that You're face. You're such a brat. I swear <laughs> to God. Okay, Bella, get some free time. All right, guys, so I am going to gear up and get out of here in a few minutes. But before I leave, I'm going to touch base with Mary and Kelsey really quick, who are adoring the little pie balls. What do you guys think? So I love cute. them. Look at, look at this one. Oh, my God. Oh, it's a pretty I knew baby. you'd love that. <laughs> I knew. Remember I told you Kelsey was going to like that one? That was the exact one that I said she was going to like it. So, guys, I'm going to be gone for just a little bit. Kelsey, I'm going to leave you in charge of vlogging down here. Okay. Mary, you help out. Don't you all complain. Right. You know, Mary's always complaining. No, she's not at all. So, okay, so I'm going to I'm gonna leave it up to you guys. I'll be back in a day, okay? All, all right. right. See you guys. Got Bye. it. So, again, basically some of the stuff that we're going to be doing down at Reptile Prime HQ is kind of boring meetings and just kind of strategizing about things like that. So, I want to make sure that you guys know what's going on back here at BHB. So, I'll make sure that Lori is vlogging, Kelsey's vlogging, Jessica, and everyone is involved so you guys don't lose touch with what's happening here. And, hey, that gives me a chance to see what's going on. I keep an eye on them, you know what I mean? So what do you say we gear up and get on the road? You guys know I talk about it every time I travel that I love driving. It's just kind of a peaceful thing and I just absolutely love it. The one thing I was gonna ask you guys, because I'm just really 
curious about this. A lot of times when I travel, I try to do really kind of cool cinematic shots. And it's something that I used to do a lot in the vlog. Just stuff like shots out the window or the wheel or the trees and all this other stuff. And I stopped doing it because, to be honest with you, I just wasn't sure if you guys liked it or not or did it add to the vlog. You know, I didn't want to take 20 or 30 seconds off of kind of fluff when I could add actual content in. So I'm curious, you know, let me know down in the comments what you think. Do you like some of those beauty shots? Sun setting or cool time lapses or whatever the case may be, especially when I travel because I usually like doing it, but I've been kind of staying away from it because I didn't want to bore you guys. But I really like to know what you guys think. In the meantime, I still have a long way to drive. But let's just do at least one time lapse right here. And I finally made it to Sykeston, Missouri. It is absolutely gorgeous out here. It's a little bit nippy, but it's a beautiful blue sky in a great mood. So I'm just here for the rest of today and then the very start of tomorrow and then I head back home. So what do you say we head over to the Reptile Prime headquarters? And I'm here sitting on a stack of Reptile Prime bedding. And like I do every time I come down here, I will need you guys to comment down below and I'm gonna pick a couple of you guys and send you a Reptile Prime bedding bag. Also, if you guys are interested in buying it right now, you can go to reptileprime.com and enter the coupon code Brian 10% and you can get 10% off for the next three or four days of your Reptile Prime. Please give this product a try. It is really dust free. It's absorbent. It is absolutely amazing and I love it to death and I have a new exciting product that is about to launch in the next couple weeks and it is what we call the Fine Blend. So for you guys that are keeping crested geckos, some tarantulas, other things and that the fiber is a little bit too big, guess what? This Fine Blend is going to work out really good for you. So regardless, that's why I'm down here. This is just to meet about some meetings, not only about this product moving forward, but some other big initiatives that we have going on. So I've got a whole host of meetings for the next several hours. And hey, I'm not going to film it because it's a little bit boring for filming. But regardless, I'll catch you guys in about mm, three to four hours. So to give you guys a little bit of an idea as I've wrapped up these meetings is the fact that I'm in a place called Sykeston, Missouri. It's about two and a half hours south of St. Louis. And this is where our headquarters is. That's right. All these buildings behind me, we do cat spot and reptile prime stuff here. And and there's a lot of really great initiatives. Of course, the big cat spot trailer behind me. Another one over here. We need to get a couple reptile prime trailers. What do you guys think? My point is, is that it's always great to come down here because I get excited about the future of this business. It's taken a little bit longer to get things off the ground than I really want, but you gotta remember, we are a specialty reptile pet product line. So we're not trying to produce everything. We're not trying to be like this huge product line. We're trying to do things that are gonna make your life of keeping reptiles easier. I mean, our motto here is the worst part about keeping any pet, whether it's a dog, a cat, a reptile, whatever it is, the worst part is really work. You know, I love cleaning snake cages, but the truth is, is that that's a lot of work. The part that I really love is spending time with my animals. So if we can bring products to you guys that make your job easier to keep your pet reptile or whatever it might be, a cat, of course, whatever, it's better for you and our experience. And so that's our business model. But you know, more importantly, I just always try to preach the fact that, you know, I tell you what, 10 or 12 or even 15 years ago, I couldn't imagine myself being in a position where I'm literally bringing out a product line with my name and face on it. It's just so amazing and it just makes me want to tell you guys to continue to follow your dreams. I mean, don't let anyone bring you down. As a matter of fact, I'm working on an e-class that's going to be out sometime in January or February that's going to be an 8 to 10 part class that you guys can join that's all about like what path it took me to get me where I am. Both the success of reptile breeding as well as the success of social media and the steps I take. And the one thing that's going to be the most important thing I'm going to talk about is work harder than everybody. If you work hard and you believe in yourself and you are tirelessly going after your dreams, you can succeed. So I'm really excited to get this E-Class finished up and kind of let you guys be a part of it because it's going to be really cool. So I will have more information about that in the coming week slash month or whatever. It's going to be a really great time. But regardless, guys, I believe in you and I want you to believe in you and I want you to work really hard. Regardless, guys, I think people are waiting for me and I'm going to get back to the meetings, but I will see you guys before the end of the vlog. You know, every time I come down here, I've got to come visit my goats, but the problem is, I came to the pen with the goats and the goats are gone. <laughs> I'm sure that they're somewhere around here, but I can't find my goats. Guess what, guys? I found my goats and I also found some horses. Look at the horses. Hey, buddy. Hi, how are you? Oh my gosh, he is so cute. And there's my goats over there. Hey, goaties. 
<laughs> you guys know that I'm always, no matter what, I'm gonna find some animal stuff to do, and this thing is absolutely gorgeous. I am always happy when I'm around animals. Oh, you're so precious. You sure are. <laughs> Regardless, I'm gonna spend a little bit of time just hanging out with my animals here because they're so amazing, and then I still have some meetings. And remember, guys, success is always about sacrifice. So days like today, I might not be doing the most exciting things, but they're very important. It's important to keep moving forward with things. So I encourage you guys to always do that. That's right, little buddy. Oh my gosh. So you guys have an absolutely amazing day. Thank you so much for tuning in. You guys mean the world to me. Can you do me a couple last favors? Can you smash that like button as well as hit that post notification so you know when I upload a video, which is every day, seven days a week at nine o'clock in the morning, Eastern Standard Time. Remember to be kind to somebody, and I promise I'm going to see you guys tomorrow.